I've been watching my brother Dynasty Mirror blossom on YouTube in the last two to three years. And I know him from my city. He was an outstanding athlete. One of the best athletes to ever come out of Sacramento, California. And I've seen his transformation into what he is today. And I give a shout out to the Search for Uhuru channel for pretty much leading the charge in getting African Americans to be interested in Africa. He's definitely had that effect on me. And I've always thanked him for it. What I like about Search for Who's channel, and I'll leave his link in the first comment, he has a lot of interesting guests that come from all sorts of walks of life. They come from many different backgrounds. Some have repatriated to the continent, if I can use that word, right? Uh, one such individual is a guy named Amin Ra. You guys know him, Amin Ra. He's quite the character he's uh <laughs> very vivacious some could say animated in some of his discussion points just his general character but amin ra is what i would consider a super pan african so much so that he doesn't refer to himself in, really as an african-american anymore he looks at himself as if he's a Kenyan because he's a brother that is an African-American, but he has moved to Kenya and has been living there for 20 plus years. When we talk about reparations in America, Amon Ra says, why are you worried about it? You'll never get it. You need to be moving to modern Africa. Africa is rising. That's his argument. Why are you worried about what's going on in America? Do you see all the things going on in America with all the sexuality problems they're having and black people getting killed in the street and the poverty and the wealth gap with African-Americans going to be zero in 2053? You should come to Africa now. You don't really have no money. You don't have no future there. Why are you wasting your time? Come over here to Africa like me. Come over to Africa like me. And every chance he gets, if there's anything negative going on in America, believe me, Amon Ra is going to post it on Facebook. He'll talk about it on YouTube. And if you talk about anything bad about Africa, Amon Ra is going to say that's fake news. This is, this is serious. This is him. On the flip side, feel, um, talks about this character called Captain Black America. I heard him mention that Phil from the African Diaspora Channel, formerly the Vice Show. Captain Black America is the antithesis of the Pan-African man. His argument is, why should I leave America and go back to Africa? Hmm? I mean, there are more Africans trying to come to America. I draw, man, listen, <clears throat> I talk to Africans all the time at my job. They say they would never go back to Africa. Look at all the corruption. Look at all the problems that they're having. All the Chinese are there. Why would I give up our ancestors fought and died hard for this country? I'm not going over there with no, 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 to no Africa. For what? I'm not African. I'm a black American. And in other words, the black American or Captain Black America, what he's saying is he doesn't see the value of being on the continent. Just don't. Don't want you to sell it to him. Don't want to be associated with it. Probably does not like Africans probably has had a bad experience with Africans and really thinks that the continent uh, to a certain degree, some of them at least um, has no future for him. His future is here, not on the continent. But what I found out is that both guys are telling the truth. 
and both of them lying. Both of them lying. Uh, let me let me start with my brother Amon Ra. Okay. The the guys who sell Africa to black people on YouTube, and I gotta mention Amon Ra. And I think that they're genuine, but they're so hyped about Africa. They never really talk about the challenges. And the facts of the matter is, there are certain types of blacks that can make it in Africa. Right? In America, you have good paying jobs. Uh, In America, you have certain industries that are set up that are nowhere else. You have a lot of variability in things you can do. You're used to doing business a certain way. That is not the case in Africa. Doing business in Africa is hard. That's why if you look at Forbes rankings, and I think they got a point here, almost all countries, the ease of doing business, the the hardest country to do them are in Africa. And the reality is, entrepreneurs that have a certain level of skill set that are african-american can be in africa unless you haven't retired yet right now if you retired and you got a pension all right you can go to africa maybe but if you're young and you have a family and stuff like that you can't work in no job and on the continent doing what you need to provide your own income and for most people that's not feasible to be on the continent. It's not. Because the continent is not for every black person. I was watching a video where somebody says all blacks need to come back to Africa. That was on Woody Myers' channel. And do what? The continent is not ready for the blacks on their own the continent. I can, I can give a good assessment from what I see. Uganda, Kenya, to a certain degree, South Africa. And South Africa is probably the best country on the continent, in my opinion. They have a, what, 27% unemployment rate? Imagine the United States with 20% unemployment. That's actually good for African countries. It's terrible for the West. So we're selling the continent, or the Pan-African person that's you know, there, they're selling Africa, Africa, Africa. And then you have the Pan-African person that's selling Africa, 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 that ain't never been to Africa. That's another story. Because you have those two. You have a lot of brothers who are pan-African talking about Africa this, Africa that. Ain't set a foot in Africa. And guess what? They ain't trying to go. They just say they pan-African and ain't never been. Ain't trying to go. But Captain Black America is also wrong. He's going around all the time, hashtag ADOS. I'm proud to be who I am. I'm not going to wear no daishiki. All right, brother, I get that. I get that. But is there an opportunity for you on the continent? You damn right. Yes, it is. And a lot of times people don't realize that. The continent is growing. There is opportunity. It's hard to do business there, but if you can do it, it is lucrative, right? You can do things in Africa. That's just the bottom line. I know because I'm doing things in Africa. So I can tell you, not from somebody that's just, I'm talking about what I know. But both people need to figure out, in these arguments, what's in the middle? The fact of the matter is, and, and there's a documentary that happened in, in, in the, 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 the people who went back to South Africa in the 90s. When Nelson Mandela and then they bought, they defeated the clerk in the apartheid regime. Or they basically ended apartheid. Nelson Mandela opened the door for some talented African Americans to come back to South Africa and do some amazing things. Some of the guys were getting $100 million, $200 million real estate deals. And what those black Americans said, I would never be able to do this in America. 
right? And so many people are so stuck on America all the time, on the USA, you're not seeing opportunities anywhere else. I can tell you, man, when I'm going over to uh, uh, on, on Qatar Airlines and you, 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 you go to Doha, or at least for me, if you go to Ethiopian Airlines, you'll land in Addis Ababa. When you take that, 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 that next connection flight, look at how many whites and Chinese are on that flight. You understand? It's a lot. And let me talk about the Captain Pan-African. How much opportunity is still in black America? A whole lot. You know how much opportunity it is doing things for black people in America? It's, it's great. It's a billion dollar industry in black America. Teaching, teaching kids about school, uh, developing stuff. And the Pan-African person is always acting like there's no opportunity in America for blacks. That's bullshit. It's, it's crap, right? Pan-African men need to stop lying. There is opportunity for blacks in America. There's industry in blacks in America. There's, 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 there's job training for blacks in America. There's everything for blacks in America also. Now, for those who want to go install that in Africa, there's more opportunity. But we got to stop acting like there's no opportunity in America. Come back to Africa. Listen, y'all need to stop with that. Just because that was, that's because you like it, that's wrong. America is still a great place for African Americans to be, despite the problems. You damn right. You damn right. You talking about somebody who, who spends time in both places. All right? So we got to really stop. Both sides got to stop with these. Just It's like the Democrats and the Republicans, man. That's what Captain Black America versus the Pan-African. That's what it's like. It's like the Democrats and the Republican debates. All right. And all these lies got to stop. So anyways, what do you guys think, man? Let me know in the comment section. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Am I right? Am I wrong? Hit me up, brothers. Thank you for supporting. Check me out on Patreon.com backslash the Negro Manosphere. Five dollars a month. Support Black Male Media. And as you know, the buffoonery of these Negroes remain at an all-time high. I'm out.